Low. Sad. Hard work. Pressure. Solitude. Out of reach. Emptiness. Help. Alone. In need. Can no you hear peace me? of mind. Self harm. Loneliness. Sorrow. Heartache. Misery. Despair. Hiding. Sorrow. No purpose. Hiding. Low self worth. Anxiety. Self -esteem. Standing alone. Sorrow. Can you hear me? Standing alone. Deciding. Low self esteem. Hiding. Low self esteem. Standing alone. Can you hear me? Low self esteem. 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 Depression is basically where normal events suddenly are almost extreme and blown out of proportion and the way you know that your depression is serious is when it starts affecting your day-to-day -day life. What determines how a person gets through a rough time and how someone ends up getting depression? The way you know that your depression is serious is when it starts affecting your day-to-day -day life. Some of the things that people do are quite irrational. Because I had to be strong for everybody else, that's how come I ended up crashing myself. I think people with depression can be quite good at hiding it. I became very lonely and very isolated. Everything just became so much harder. When I was younger, I used to get very, very anxious about things, um, especially illnesses. Because before I was diagnosed, they thought I was just being attention-seeking. Everyone else is having a good time, giggling, laughing, and you're the one sat there like, I really don't want to be here. I'd say it's very difficult to tell the line between if it's just normal teenage process or if you're actually um, depressed. There's a great deal of guilt and misunderstanding. I try and calm myself down before I get too stressed. And sometimes things will get a bit too much if too much happens too quickly. Just the word mental has so many connotations to it. I never knew who to tell. It's very hard for someone to reassure you unless they're somebody you trust. Sometimes people with different issues, they don't always need someone poking them with a stick, constantly asking them what's wrong, because half the time they don't know themselves. And I think in this world we're not always very understanding about that. Some days didn't seem worth living, which is quite sad looking back now. And I think we need to be more understanding and more aware as well, and not treat it like some sort of stigma. We've got to treat depression a bit more openly than we do. Live for the day. And now a lot more people understand, and I've got loads of support, and it's brilliant. If you're patient, then people will learn to open up and sometimes being the best friend that you can be is just being there. If I cry, will they see I'm hurting? If I cut myself, will they see I'm hurting? If I make myself ill, will they see I'm hurting? If I scream and shout, will they see I'm hurting? If I'm not talking, can they see I'm hurting? No, my family cannot see that I'm hurting so much. I just need to find that person I can trust.